Okay guys, it's time for the final review of Prototype. After playing through the game all the way up to day 15 of the infection, I have finally gathered enough of a good enough opinion of the game to um, give a, a decent review on it. This I did not expect. Um, right off the bat, you get to experiment and play around with the majority of the powers that you have. Um, it gives you access to the claw ability along with the ground spikes. It gives you the hammer fist and it gives you the blade it actually lets you play with the blade for a little while at the very beginning of the game however not even an hour into the game not even half an hour into the game you lose all of it even the blade you don't even get the claws for an hour or two into the game um, the blade you don't get until six or seven hours into the game and the blade was the most advertised ability in the game throughout all the prototype advertisements and um, showcasings it was always the blade that was showed off you don't get the blade until six seven hours into the game and then in order to upgrade it costs an arm and a leg almost literally um the missions provide you the most EP, most evolution points, which makes it the fastest way to get upgrades, but the levels are not even, they're missions, they progress, they progressively get more challenging, but none of them are really that hard the only reason I've died as many times as I have in the game is my own tendency to not pay attention to what's going on around me the game itself is not hard um, the enemies are most of the enemies are relatively weak for the majority of the game you're fighting the military soldiers die in one hit um, the uh, you can uh, hijack tanks and you can skyjack helicopters which makes both um, a joke to fight there really there's really no reason to fight a tank or a helicopter if you can just steal one um, infected well I should probably mention the super soldiers super soldiers come in around the time that you about half an hour after maybe an hour after you get the blade ability um, they can be a pain in the butt but um, they're really not that tough it's all about timing your counter so that you don't get slammed um, but each of their slams takes out a good chunk of your health and it's it's really bad when that happens but the super soldiers themselves are not that difficult to fight the infected are a bit more of a challenge they're a bit more fun to fight against um, the regular common infect that you'll find running around on the streets like the military like almost everything in the game dies almost immediately after getting hit um, the hunters are a bit more of a challenge Uh, they they actually require good 
thrashing in order to take down um, the more mutated hunters even more so um, but again it's really not that difficult um, movement I'm trying to cram all this into a nine minute video um, movement quick effective very streamlined very smooth um, what else NPCs no very little variation advertisements that are in the game um, there's many different advertisements I'll release a video showcasing some of the advertisements that I found just running through the game um, that's pretty much all that's both the good and the bad that I've come across um, again good game overall very fun to play um, a little monotonous and tedious at some points very little NPC variation uh, weak enemies um, that's about all overall final thoughts great game excellent potential I seriously hope Activision and Radical Entertainment come out with a prototype 2 or something similar and improve upon everything that is that makes this game this game as great as it as it is but um, take out some of the little things like the NPC variation vary the NPCs a little bit more um, don't make the mission so uh, repetitive and really that's about it that's my final thoughts great game tiny little tiny little irks, uh, irks in the game but that's about it so that's my review on prototype thanks I'll see you guys later peace